So what we're going to do first is see where the toe line is there. I want you to cut it just below there. Straight across. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I want you to go just above the heel and straight across. Like so. Bearing in mind that this bit here is the end of your sock, okay? I'd like you to cut a shape that's roughly a circle in this part here. So it should look something like this. Okay. Then I want you to get your white sock. You need to cut as close to the toe as possible because we need the length. Okay. Then we cut it about here. Now we're going to draw out the face shape. So basically this little shape around here is what we're doing now. So get yourself a texture and then I just want you to draw a shape something like this one. So it should look something like this and then you can cut it out. Try to keep in mind that we like colours that you want to cut the texture part off because other, when the sock gets washed it will bleed the texture. Alright, so it should look something like that. What I do if it's not even, so I fold it in half and then just trim the edges so it's exactly the same. Okay, so there's your face. Now what I'd like you to do is turn this one inside out. Ne needle and thread with a knot on the end. Now the thicker bit is the bit that goes at the top. So I want you to face that part of the so the part of the sock that'll be the outside in. And I want you to start at the top and just stitch it on as you go. I use a back back stitch which means where your thread is, you go back, under and come out ahead. Back, under and come out ahead. And just do that all the way around. Try and make sure you stretch your sock a little bit so it fits nicely. Once you get to the end, just tie a knot in the thread, like so, so it's close to the fabric, and trim your excess. When you turn it around, you should have something that looks like this. I want you to turn it back inside out, and we're going to sew the back of the head. So what I want you to do is sew from here well, to about a third of the way 
and then from here to about a third. You need to leave this section in the middle open so you can turn the head inside out. So it should look something like this with a little opening in the middle. Okay, and I want you to turn it the other way. And get some of the polyfill and start stuffing it in the face. Now shape it as you go until you get the desired shape you want in the face. Make sure you, your face sticks out a little bit when you've got your stuffing in there. That means you've, it needs to be firm without all the wrinkles. So from a side on view, once it's stuffed, it should look something similar to that. Okay, now I'd like you to put the needle in. You should have a bit of a seam line here. So the needle needs to come up through there and then stitch on one side and then do the same on the other side and with each one just take a very gentle tug and continue that until you're through to the end. find at the end you get a little bit that sticks up so just push that under and do another stitch on the other side and it should look something like that and tie yourself a knot close to the fabric like this hold your finger pull and then go back under and come out somewhere different and then you can trim it off and then you won't have any excess hanging out There's the head. Now we need to do the legs and the arms. So this is where the heel is and the top of the sock. We want to trim the top of the sock straight off. We don't use that part. And then divide it down the middle. And you'll notice that the legs are a bit bigger than the arms so in length and, and in width so we'll cut it across the bottom here and then we'll cut it just that little bit above the centre line there so it should be something like that another thing we'll do with the arms because they're rounded draw a bit of a half circle shape on the end on both pieces and bear in mind that these will be a little bit skinnier so it should look something like that and then you can cut them out Okay, so for the arms, just turn it around the other way. And then starting from this middle bit here, 
I want you to do back stitch all the way around to the end here, leaving this end bit open. So if you turn it around, it should look something like that. Okay, now go on and do the second one. Okay, so now the piece that you used to cut the head out with, you should still have the other side. To make it easier to work with, let's just open it up. Now, for the legs, they have a little circle on the bottom. So, we need to do that now. So, if you just draw roughly. should have two like this and then I want you to cut them out. There's two. So then what I want you to do is turn these around and basically stitch along this side, leave this bit and this bit opens. Okay, now once you've done this, I'd like you to find which way is the going to the outside of the sock and we're going to stitch it onto the bottom of the leg. Just going around in a circle back to the same point. The bottom of the, the leg is pretty much the trickiest part in this whole process, so Take your time. Okay, so we've sewn all the way around. Knot it off now. And then we'll turn it inside out, to, uh, the right way around, and you should have something that looks like that. And now you just need to do the same with the other side. Okay, so we repeat the same steps with this leg. Okay, now with your two legs, I'd like you to put a little bit of stuffing in them. And try and make sure that they're about the same, roughly. Then I need you to get this piece and then I need you to turn it inside out. The next job I want you to do is to take one of the legs and put it just inside like so. And starting from 
very outside. I want you to stitch all the way across. So you're stitching straight through the leg as well. And we need to repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, now when you get to the end this time, you'll find you have a little gap in the middle. I just want you to stitch straight across there. Okay, so that's all closed. We can knock that off now. And then when you turn it the other way around, your legs are all stitched in. Now what I'd like you to do is stu stuff the body. Make sure when you stuff it to poke it down into the corners so it sits nicely. And then when you think you've got enough in there is we're going to do a gather with the chenille socks you'll find your thread may come straight through so I generally secure it a couple of times in the same spot and then you're just going in, out, in, out all the way around to the same point. And then just gently pull it tight don't worry too much about this bit on the top because that will be covered up. And tie it in a knot. Okay, so you should have something like this. Now, I've still got the thread attached. If you haven't, you can just re-thread it. And the next step is to attach the head. Now, it's a similar stitch to the one that we used here for the back of the head. So you go in on one side and then you take some up from the body on the other side. You do that all the way as you go around. So we knot it off. So the next step we'll do the arms. So you should have them about the same size. Now for the arms, we're basically doing the same way we attach the head. I normally start where you've sewn a seam. I normally try and keep the seam so it rests underneath. So if you work out roughly where you'd like it on the body, and just gently pull it tight as you go. As you go around, if you try and push the, the ends of the sock underneath as you pull, then you won't have any showing. And then you can thread your needle across or you can start again on the other side. And then we're just repeating the process. Okay, and then you just kind of roll them so they it stretches them out a little bit more. So you should have something like this. Okay, so next we're going to do the ears. Now you should have a little bit left over, 
still from here. The ears. Easier to do it on a fold. And they're basically shaped like this. Okay, so you should have two like this. And then you can cut them out. Okay, so you should have basically a shape like this. I want you to fold it so the inside of the sock is facing out. So if you start on the flat side, the top, and basically we're stitching all the way along the outside to here. There won't be an opening, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Okay, so now what we do, you should have stitching all the way down here, here. Just trim a very small amount there and then I want you to turn it inside out. You may need something to poke it out with or you can just kind of wriggle it a little bit. So you should have something that looks like this. Okay, and then we'll repeat for the other one. Okay, so for the ears, I want you to come in on one side from underneath and do an extra stitch then stitch across to the other side and then you'll pull it together and I want you to go back through both sides and you should have something like that. Then I want you to find about halfway on the head and attach it the same way that we've attached all the arms and the head. Okay, so it should be like this. And then I want you to repeat it on the other side. Try and make it, make sure your ears are reasonably even with the other one. So the next step is to do the face. Now I've just used some black felt and cut it out into two circles and stitched it on. So you'll need some black thread, some black felt. What I typically do is cut out roughly a rectangle, fold it in half and then cut the two pieces together So that they end up being about the same shape. I normally start 
by coming in underneath the felt work out where you want it and then I basically just do a back stitch all the way around okay so there's one eye and then if you thread through to the other side and then you can do the other eye okay so there's your eyes done now we need some embroidery thread probably about 30 centimeters long roughly okay so tie a knot in the end and just trim off your excess just leaving a little bit on the end if you come down through here and up to about halfway in, in the middle And if you give it a gentle tug it'll come through then you need to go down and then come out near the eye like so go back through the same hole at the top here and try and make even where you come out even to the other side and then go back st straight through the same hole and then come out down near the neck and there's your nose you can put more angle on it if you like it's entirely up to you whatever you prefer and you can knot it off down at the neck then you just simply go through the same hole and pull it back under and you can't even see it and there you have it there's a lamp